Hi, my name is Miruna and I'm going to tell you a story. My story, which is representing the short part of this year. I started this club about two months ago and I knew from the beginning that I have to make a speech. And I was like, my speech has to be great. Everybody must say that my speech is the best speech from the entire TED history. Of course, starting with this task in my mind, it was impossible for me to find a great idea which I was waiting for. Anyway, I chose to talk about the dreams. So unoriginal, I know. In fact, you can find information about the dreams everywhere. Even you search on Google or you open the dictionary at letter D to see the definition. And I just made copy paste on what I found and that was all. When I came from the first time in front of everybody to share my idea, um, I was so nervous and scared, but not because what I am going to think about the way how I am saying my speech, and because what are the others going to think about me, my speech, and my idea. I thought that everybody is going to hate me because I had a stupid idea, but of course it was only in my mind. And um, it was my speech was a lost case because I couldn't say two words in the same sentence, which makes sense. Um, the conclusion was that I care too much about what the other thinks about me and if you are in the same situation like me, you should trust yourself more. Because some people doesn't, don't care about the other's opinions and some people do, but an ideal person must be in the middle. Um, if we take this example about sharing your idea in front of a community, there are more types of people. Uh, one, the ones which don't care about the other's opinions. Two, the ones which do, and that's why they are nervous and scared. Three, the ones which are just shy in any moment. And four, the ones which actually can deal with everything in any moment and can make almost everything well when they are shy or not. Um, I am happy to say that I was in the second situation, but now I think that I'm the one at first. In these moments, uh, when you are that afraid, it's just impossible to think about something positive. Uh, but if you like your idea, you should share it, no matter what feedback you are going to recite. Anybody can't come in tonight with a gun to kill you just because your idea wasn't good enough for somebody. Even King George VI of England was afraid to say his speeches and share his ideas in front of his kingdom. He repeated and repeated, but, but everything was going wrong. And um, when he had to share his speech with the others, he was too afraid to do this. Uh, but in the end, King George VI, uh, with many exercises, was able to speak in public. You know, I can give you many examples with famous persons which changed the world, uh, afraid to speak in public and more, to share their ideas. They are like Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, Julia Roberts, and I can continue. 
Julia Roberts was using acting as a method to share her ideas. Abraham Lincoln was avoiding his duties and his audience as much as he could. And Julia uh, and Thomas Jefferson had two speeches in his entire career and both couldn't be heard by the audience. And they were still famous and important persons. Even they cared that much about what the other things and they were that shy. Uh, obviously, it would be much better if they could speak. So this is the final conclusion of the story. Share your idea no matter to what feedback you are going to recite. Because if you like your idea, it has to be the same thing for you if the others want you to be the queen or the king of the world or if the others want you to burn in hell because you had a stupid idea. Thanks. <laughs>